As a Grubhub delivery driver, I have watched the platform decline over the past year. When I first started, I loved driving for Grubhub, but now in 2022, not so much. I became a driver not too long ago, and I enjoyed my first few weeks that I was delivering. As a DoorDash and Uber Eats driver, I also decided to sign up for Grubhub because they were very similar to the restaurant delivery apps I already had. That happened all within this past year, and I really enjoyed driving for Grubhub. They had high order minimums and even short orders, and even though they didn't show the mileage, I was still very happy to deliver for this platform. But the Just Eat Takeaway acquisition of Grubhub seemed to change all that. When I first started, there was a $7 minimum per order in my market. Even if a customer tipped $0 and it was a half mile delivery, I was still guaranteed to make at least $7 on that order. I thought this was so great compared to the low paying orders I could be receiving from DoorDash and Uber Eats. I knew that you know, there weren't a ton of orders out there in the system. I knew that when an order did come through and I could receive $7 for it, this was fantastic. I remember a customer routinely ordering Chipotle to their apartment just right across the street and they didn't tip very well, but I was still willing to take that for $7. And you know, right across the street was great for me because that meant I could do more orders per hour. And Grubhub was also great with this, with giving me shorter orders. You know, I would often have like two mile deliveries, three mile deliveries on Grubhub, but now not so much. And although Grubhub did not show the mileage that you were gonna be driving, I still thought that this was fine because as in slightly experienced delivery driver, I felt like I could accurately predict the amount of mileage to within like a half mile or a mile. And so this wasn't a huge deal to me. This is just something that I would have to calculate on my own. And it was a minor inconvenience, but I still thought it was fine, especially with their $7 order minimum. And I know in many other people's markets, this $7 order minimum was often like $8 or $9. You know, in my market, it seemed to be pretty low, that $7 mark. Other people I know have been talking about how they used to only receive orders of $9. This was great for drivers in markets where Grubhub was extremely busy because that meant that they could exclusively just drive for Grubhub and maybe take like three or four orders per hour and make a good wage just doing that. But things over this past year, and especially in 2022, it looks like everything is just going downhill. Everything decided to take a turn for the worse when an Amsterdam-based company, Just Eat Takeaway, decided to acquire Grubhub. A lot of people were happy about this acquisition. Maybe it meant that Grubhub would start to improve after the slow declines that they had in terms of the amount of customers that were using this app to get food delivered. A lot of customers decided to use DoorDash and Uber Eats to get their food delivered as Grubhub suffered. This acquisition was supposed to be a positive thing, especially for Grubhub drivers that had slowly started to see orders declining in their market. I don't know everything about Just Eat Takeaway. I'm definitely not an expert and I have no hate towards them, but it seems that as soon as they took over Grubhub, things just got significantly worse. The $7 minimum orders were now decreased to like $3 or $4 when customers decided that they didn't want to tip. The medium to high quantity of orders that were out there in many markets now decreased even more, and it was harder for Grubhub drivers to start receiving orders. Grubhub had always had a problem with trying to send drivers far distances to restaurants, maybe even five to 10 miles away, but now it just looks like the shorter orders completely disappeared off the platform if you receive them at all. Like I used to do a bunch of two or three mile deliveries and now all of a sudden those just seem to never reach my phone and it's always trying to send me $5 for five miles or $7 for like 10 miles. The wait times at restaurants never got better. It was always been a horrible process. 
we're always waiting very long times at these restaurants because Grubhub does a terrible job of making sure that the order is ready or close to being ready when the driver arrives to the restaurant. Almost always the pickup time that is on our phones when we show up to the restaurant is completely different than what is shown on their tablet or their ticket. It is just sometimes an awful time to just be sitting in a restaurant waiting. I've had an order that I had to wait almost an hour to pick up and it was fine because I was able to uh, let the customer know that it's gonna be a long time when I did other orders in the meantime from other platforms, but like this just should not happen. With DoorDash and Uber Eats, this does not exist. I mean, if you're waiting more than 10 minutes for an order on those platforms, something is seriously wrong. But a 10 minute wait on Grubhub is just a normal thing. And you're actually pretty happy if you only have to wait 10 minutes. It seems like Grubhub is trying to say that they care about their drivers. I mean, they sent me two free hot bags and a drink carrier. That's very nice of them to do so, but also it doesn't really cost that much to ship these things out. And uh, I just get the sense that Grubhub, they don't really care about their drivers. Well, none of these food delivery companies really care that much about their drivers. It's just, we're just ways to get the food to the customer as cheap as possible. And like, I understand that, but really like Grubhub, especially with the wait time at these restaurants and the order minimums decreasing so much, that is an easy way for us to know that they don't really care about us. I mentioned Just Eat Takeaway earlier in the video and they have also expressed that they really don't like owning Grubhub. I mean, it's only recently that they acquired Grubhub, but now their Grubhub stock price just decreased significantly up to a point where they decided to delist their stock from the NASDAQ and they even cited that it's because the stock price was so low, that's why they decided to do it. Now, Just Eat Takeaway is saying they want to sell Grubhub to another company, and it looks like they are going to have to take a loss on their investment in order to do so. As a driver, I'm seeing a lot fewer orders on the Grubhub platform every week, and the orders are not getting any better. If anything, they are getting worse. Sometimes I'm still able to accept a couple good Grubhub orders, but overall, I mean, like, you can look at the screenshots I have of, there were like four orders that I got all in the same day, and there's just orders that I would never even think about accepting because I can get much higher paying orders from other platforms. I will still probably continue to drive for Grubhub, uh, just because it's a way to make some money, but it is an annoyance when they are trying to continue to offer me orders that just would not be profitable for me to take. And uh, sometimes it's just an annoyance when I'm trying to run other apps and then Grubhub is in the background just sending me bad orders. Sometimes I just don't even wanna run it at all. And I'm at a point right now to where if Grubhub disappeared forever, I wouldn't be too sad about it because I can just make more money on other platforms. I really do think Grubhub is in a terrible spot right now, but as a driver, there is still a little bit of money to be made out there. Hopefully the platform gets just a little bit better every now and then to where, you know, I am not too annoyed with Grubhub, but I know that that might not happen and Grubhub may be sold to another company. So they may just consolidate with them. And who knows, maybe it won't be around in a few years and maybe it could actually be somewhat decent. We'll just have to wait and see how things go. But as of right now in 2022, things aren't very good. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.